guy just bouncing all over, man. It's great. What's going on, guys? Intech here. Welcome back to Crossout. So, tonight during the stream, I was working on this beast, and uh, this was after a lot of trial and error. We finally got a uh, a rig that is very well put together and it's very devastating. This is what I like to call the Intech War Rig. Now I know it doesn't look like a war rig. As somebody completely pointed out in chat, uh, but it does the trick and it does have a pretty cool look to it. So he, basically the design, and actually I can take this off now because I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to put one of these back on here. If you guys don't know what Crossout is, basically this is a Mad Max simulator. Mad Max meets Robocraft, and it is freaking amazing. Uh, essentially, and somebody invited me to a group. I don't know who that is. Uh, essentially, what uh, Crossout is a building game where you, you grind, you f get parts, and you use those parts to make vehicles, and then you battle other people. Which it, So, there you go. That's pretty much the gist of it somebody actually accepted okay that's pretty much the gist of it and uh it's pretty freaking amazing and uh if you guys haven't been following along with the series i've already got a lot of cool builds you guys should check out but this is the antec war rig it's got a 100 millimeter cannon it has a 88 millimeter cannon a plow in the front which isn't really used for anything a sight and uh essentially i've been using this in kind of a sniper class role and I've been doing some PVE as well with it. And originally I, was, I wasn't going to use th these cannons for anything but PVE. But here's what happened. There was some stupid thing today where you had to destroy these oil rigs. And they don't really pop up on the uh, map as often, as easily. And so we kept losing. Our team kept losing. And I was with people who were fighting bots instead of actually fighting the objective. And uh, we kept losing. And so I took a ton of durability loss. And so I'm like, screw it. I might as well use it in PVP because the thing's a beast. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hop into some PVP and then we'll probably do some PVE as well at the end of the video. Uh, but I thought we would uh, check out what this thing's all, all about. I, I really wish I was recording earlier because I had some um, um, freaking epic long range shots and they were just insanely awesome. Uh, but you know, whatever, hopefully we can do it again. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. We're on a, a map that's pretty much perfect for this thing in terms of sniping. Now I do have the 88 and the 100 set to different uh, mouse buttons and so that should allow me to retain uh, this guy's running a very similar build should allow me to retain a lot of ammo and get good shots off now here's the thing sometimes people come up here since people come up here okay so I've I've noticed a uh, something in the game that is a bit of a disease <laughs> the pyro launchers they are insanely ridiculous uh, they lock on from so far away and do so much damage so easily and that guy shot me I think so easily and they really need a nerf of some kind whether distance or um, damage dealt because they're just insane and people running these fast builds that never stop moving and they just line up just long enough to uh, launch off some shots and deal a massive amount of damage, but they are definitely overpowered, especially when people will have four of them. It's so ridiculously good. Okay, here we go. He's got like an armored car type of run uh, build here. There's William. Yeah, line back up for me, man. That's that's it. I think he has a generator in the front. We're using a lot of ammo on the spot. He's good, we got him. He's almost dead. There we go. So there is quite a lot of people left on their team. Very men I know. He has got uh, a, lo a, a lot of MGs. Because I've played against him before. And he's running the same exact build he was before. A huge hit. The freaking 100 hit so hard. There he is. But he's got a really weak build. Keep backing up, dude. Ah, he just missed him. Yeah, he's got a really weak build. It's very exposed. There's a guy on the top up here. Oh, that's, guy. that's our guy. 
guy's smoking, I think. He's got very, very little health left. There go. 88 is good backup. Uh, we should really wait for Barry Man to come. Because they have to rush the, uh, the cat for if they want to win the match. Because it's almost over. This guy's got wasp launchers. <laughs> Very man. The settle. Dead from downtown. 643. 11 seconds left. Can I get this other kill? Come on. Got him. Pretty good run. First match. And for the victory, too. Sweet, one guy left on their team. Four kills, not too bad. Not too shabby. I need some new ST get wheels. Yes, I'm running out of wheels. I'm getting, they're getting blown off and stuff. 1200 XP, that is amazing. I have no additional rep gain on this thing though. So that's a kind of a bummer. Okay, here we go, round two. I usually have a good round and then a bad round. Good round, bad round. And this is going to be one of those bad rounds because this is that small level that this thing kind of sucks on. Uh, not very good. This this uh, power plant, abandoned power plant one is too close quarters for this type of build. There is, however, one very similar to this that is pretty good, because I can still snipe on it. But this thing is, you know, it is an up close and personal type of vehicle though too. Uh, that's why I have the 88 down low, and I have that little flashing there on the side right here next to the 100 is a little bit of protection. The good thing about this build is that I can see up and over things and I would have been set up to hit this person if it wasn't for the bot get out of there hopefully we don't get flanked he took a wheel did he take a wheel off no okay he is flipped over and that guy's gonna kill him okay not even get a shot off probably there we go I got him I'm getting shot from behind Oh no. Just sit there, dude, why don't you? Get that wheel. Keep the cannon, keep the cannon. I can absorb a ton of hits before I'm dead. I'm gonna die though. I'm dead. Like I lost my cannon. That's pretty much how it happens on this on this level. Uh almost every single time. It's too close quarters for this build. Unless I just sit back in the base, which is kind of pointless. But can't, I've seen people do really well with cannons, though. You know, I did, I did, I did my part. You know, and I took out wheels and I, I took out a, I took out a bot. Woo! <laughs> Great for the bot taking out the bot. It did so good. But then I did hit that guy on the side up here for quite a bit. I wish the game was based off of damage and not so much uh, the kills and stuff. That's about the only thing I hope they, they actually do implement something in terms of damage. Because in PvE, you I mean, you get you get stuff for kill assist, you know, but it's not a lot. In PvE, you get stuff for uh, partaking in the, like, objective, which you'll either get, like, 40 or 150 XP. And so, or 40, 150 points, I don't know what the, I don't know if it's XP. Um, but, I mean, that's the, that's the type of thing. Just go chase this guy, man. That's the type of thing. It's like, I wish it was based off of damage. Because sometimes people do a mass amount of damage. But then I can also see, like, you know, m maybe a, a machine gun build doesn't do as much damage as a heavy cannon build or something like that. And so that could be, you know, unfair as well. We're capping the enemy base. Did done. You better get ready. That guy's coming. He's ready for him. I also don't know, like, if I should mount my sight up higher or, like, what the deal is with that. But I, I think there's some improvements I could probably make to this build. But it's pretty good overall, and uh, I'm I'm content with it. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about it. All right, looks like we got this in the bag. I should have probably have that fuel barrel for these victors. I could be getting, I I could be getting fuel for these. It is whatever though. I don't want to have ex additional explosive in the back of my vehicle. Okay, this is probably my favorite map to use this type of thing on because, and being on this side because you can actually hit the enemy before they leave their base if you uh, do it right. You actually get your shot and then it actually hits. Factory, beware of the acid. Come on now, keep going. I'm too far away. I'm not going to be there in time. Not going to be there in time. 
Hey, Avaris is in here. He's in, uh, he's on my friends list. Right here. Dang it, they, they're already rushing. Here we go. This guy is not, that's not an AI. That's an AI right there. These are all AI. He's going right into the acid. And that kill will be mine. Maybe not though. Get in that acid! Kill. What? He's not dead? There we go. Man, I was gonna say. Alright, there's a good chance we're getting flanked right now. Get in there. Get in the acid. Just get in the acid already. We got a guy right next to us. There we go. Alright, this is a good chance we're getting flanked. Yep, look at them. Two of them. Right down in the front here. Right below us. <laughs> See me here, man? Come on. Take out those guns. Oh my gosh, I was going to say, how do I hit square in the center for that much damage and not take out his guns? Okay, so here's the thing. We have to go to their base. We have to go to their base. Oh, wait, our base is being capped? Oh my gosh, what the crap. Okay, please kill the guy in our base. Dang it. I'm going to have to go back. Oh my gosh! He's got freaking hidden cannons here. Hey, look at how fast I am, though. Get out of here, sucker! Yeah, I'm dead. I should have just stayed and defended our base. Yep, I'm dead. Dang it, man! I should have just defended our base, stayed there and defended. I had, like, the perfect setup, too. It's 1260 though. I mean, this is how good we did. We still did amazing in that match because we got so many kills and stuff. Crap. Okay, here we go. Good, good sniping map. Good sniping map. Bridge is good. Dried riverbed. Because most times, what is he talking about? Most times people will rush over here, and I'm in a good spot from the start. Unless a freaking bot hits me. I really, really hope that they rework the bots in this game. They are so messed up. He's still hitting me. Dude, get off of me, man. Or maybe that was me because I was <laughs> I was shooting and dipping down. Could have been could have very well been that case. Probably exactly what it was actually. This guy's out of my shot range. Mmm. There's a hit. Nice hit there. I ah, just missed. Um, yeah, it's definitely a sniper build, that's for sure. Yeah, nice. Hits for so much damage, though. I mean, lots and lots of damage. You better be gone when I come down there. This is that guy that killed me last time. Not this time, though, man. Not today. I still somehow managed to land that shot right there. This guy's getting annihilated. I'm gonna set up for this guy. Dude, look behind you. Please. There we go. <laughs> guy, this, what, what is this? What are these guys even doing right now? What are these builds? What is this build this guy has? What is this? <laughs> it's just some fast buggy with a barrel while behind him. Like, what that crap, man? Is that guy right here? Oh! <laughs> I did not. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Whoops. He's on the bridge. Come help me up. Peter! Peter! He's right here, Peter. 
Varus, buddy, buddy Opal. Yes. Now nah, go kill him. Thank you. Oh, he's right here. Oh, Varus! No, <laughs> Varus! Oh, don't die, man! Don't die, Varus! Gonna try to snipe a shot through there, but it's not. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh, I thought Averis was dead for for sure. It's a good thing there's no uh. Well, there goes Averis. Oh, it, dude, do we lose this match because they have? We have more people. If we we better not lose. Okay, I was gonna say. We have more people. I thought that's how it went. I was hoping that was the case. I was gonna be so mad if it wasn't. All right, so we got we're doing good on XP. Um, oh, I leveled up in Nomads. Sweet. I got more tin caps, more avia panels, and that's it. Not a whole lot to it. Not a whole lot to it. So we got some fuel. So what I thought we would do is we let's do a raid, and let's do a normal race, and hope. Uh, to get some good copper. I was I, I got like I don't even know how much copper earlier today. Uh ton of copper. I bought a site and then I was doing with some more and got like a, a ton more. This is not really the best the best build for this type of uh PvE though. It's a race, so you gotta go capture the cargo. So at very best what I have been doing is essentially acting as the muscle and keeping the counter running by killing AI while uh, we go and collect uh, while well, other people go and collect and so as long as there's one person kind of collecting the the loot which that guy didn't dude do you know what we're doing here gosh man don't trust your teammates don't ever trust your teammates just do it all yourself do it all yourself guys because you only get four seconds when you kill t when you kill AI in this. Come on, just kill the thing. Let's move on. This thing is actually surprisingly maneuverable. Oh! Oh, earlier today, right after... Wow, we are just making this guy do all kinds of stuff. Right after... Uh, during stream, like right after stream, uh, I... <laughs> shot this buggy like at least five times and he just kept flying through the air dude i hate teammates ah. do focus on the objective and not killing a bot and watch where you're driving seriously it's not like we have a ton of time here uh yeah i shot the buggy at least like five times and he just kept flipping over and over and over again it was so freaking hilarious This, uh, we haven't got a single kill yet, but that's okay. Because we're still going to get a good, a, lot, a good amount of copper for, for doing this. And getting these hits and stuff. That is all I care about. Oh, my ammo's exposed. There we go. Got one kill at least. My ammo's exposed. Like, that's not good. That means that uh, that blows. I'm gonna blow basically. What is this guy doing? Side D kill over here, just killing, killing bots. Where you going? Go overkill, overkill, overkill over here. I see you over here peeking. Nice, we got a guy spread out. This is how you play these. Have people spread out, and then you almost always... Uh, guy's trying to take my kill, John Foster. You almost always uh, can cap very quickly. Got my way. Coming through. Wall rig. Intex wall rig right here. I'm out of ammo for my 100. Yeah, baby. Direct. 
you kind of go in a circle sometimes you don't get that but for the most part you do that's pretty much what this thing is it just plows through things and it keeps moving it's got enough stability that i can manage to do that got it um it's not too bad i you know i thought about putting tracks on it and stuff for let's see 20 oh my gosh i thought about putting tracks on it and stuff but you know in all reality like it's not like that much different with wheels if you know how to control it and you can barely tap it's what I, what i noticed is that it is about learning kind of like the input lag because there is definitely input lag in this game and kind of once you learn that you first attribute it to lag and then you realize oh my you know it's taking a little bit of time to register these things and uh so if, once you kind of realize that i think you can and i mean that might be on my end too i'm not entirely sure but what I do know is that it, it exists, at least for me, and so I try to I try to notice it and deal with it as I can. And this barrel really has helped, I think. It still gets shot off pretty easily from the front, and there's really no way to protect it because uh, you'll obstruct the sight if you do. But, yeah, it's, it's working out pretty well. Okay, we're back in PvP. We're on the factory side, the factory map, but we're on the other side of the map, and so we need to account for a location, which... It's pretty much the exact same thing. If you know where to go, you know where you, you can get shots off because you know where people are gonna sit. And so once you play, like they need they need new maps basically, because once you play enough, you kind of figure out where people are gonna be and where to go. Hi, hi, sup man, mange. There's a couple guys. It looks like I don't think I can hit that. I don't think so. Okay. More than likely, it looks like we're probably going to get rushed through here. So we'll get ready for that. Doesn't look like many of them are going to the right side, so that means most of them are probably going to come to the left. There's Abigail. AI. There's one. This is that quick guy with the wasp launcher. It's not lock on, bro. <laughs> and then he just goes flying. Because this vehicle weighs like 200 pounds, probably. Yeah, you had you had wheels. You had a vehicle two seconds ago. What happened to it? Where's it at? I love I love this build. Build. I love this build, you guys. This build is probably my favorite build that I've made so far. No joke. Come on, pull forward. This guy's annihilated. Whoa! Double hit over here. Ah, stupid. Freaking hate those launchers so much. Hate them. They're the worst. And that AI build with the, uh, the semi-truck build is freaking OP. It's really, really tough to kill. Got a lot of health. It's even worse when you miss your shots constantly. There we go. Man, I gotta get I gotta get better with my shots. I'm defense right now. I'm defense. Protect the base. There's Matthew. And you, and you I mean obviously you have to d protect from both AI and players because the AI will Cap your base if you're if you let them do it. Hit the cab. Oops, missed that shot. Come on, get it. <sighs> Three kills. That okay? So it's just that fast moving guy with the wasp launcher left. He's right here. What the heck? Why is that shot so far off? The guy just bouncing all over, man. It's great. It's so funny. Okay, so we win this match. Game over. This build is freaking OP. I love this thing. I could probably improve it a lot more by putting armor in better places, but man, I am I am really satisfied with this build. We got another ST wheel. We got some fuel. We are loading up. This is great. So if you get fuel, if you got a fuel tank, what you do is you Damage parts detected. No. 
Uh, come in here, right click, you can sell it if you want, but just pour it in your tank, and it gives you that back. So I've got a damage part. This is why I'm trying to get wheels, because they are going bad. And I can't, I have enough now, I think I can repair. So let's see, if I go to repair, let me see. Yeah, I've got three of them. And unused as well. So that's good. Uh, so we have, f it should be, I think, four 2020s now. That's great. And then we have these AV boosters, which I don't need. So we'll sell the, we'll sell all but one of them. So I do like to keep one of everything, really. We'll, s that's, there's no orders for the car jack. No orders for that. Orders for the uh, 76 and 11. I think I'm going to hold on to those. Well, yeah, I'll hold on to them to repair and to craft other things. And I think that's all. I could sell the copper. What can we... Let's see. What should we... Can we make anything, though? Um, I might want to make hardened tracks. That's a, kind of a waste. Attack drone. Everyone says do a drone. Do a drone. But it's just got a basic minigun. It's not very good. Radar detector is pretty good. Once I get level 5, though, I want to make heavy machine guns. So maybe I should hold on to this. I need to do more PvP to get that mach that wire, because I could sell it, and it sells. It's selling for eighty per ten right now. Six hundred and forty. That's the max, or oh, for eight of them, for eight crates, six hundred forty-eight. Holy smokes! So kind of what I usually do is just do. One at a time. I can always get that back, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell this. Because I'm, I'm trying to rack up coins before it goes open beta. Because essentially, when it goes open beta, I have a feeling that it's going to... It's going to get flooded and price is going to go down. We'll put three up for there. Yeah, it's going to get it's going to get flooded with stuff. Eight offers, ten. I've sold a lot of stuff. Fifty, five, seventy-seven, hundred, one thousand ninety-nine. No one's gonna buy that. But you can play the market, and you can actually do quite well. Hundred fuel for one hundred forty-nine. That's not too bad. People buy this up too. Powerful engine, eleven hundred ninety-nine. Oh gosh. Yeah, the heavy MGs is like really what I want to go for. Are there any? Are there any? Dude, there are people with these things. With engineer's container. And a hammer fall shotgun. This thing is so bad though, in my opinion. So bad. Wait, what the heck? Oh, exhaust. Yeah, okay, so for rarity, heavy machine guns, there are no orders for heavy machine guns right now. Pyro launcher, look at this, 55, look at that, 5,556. Turret 88, 3,700, I'd buy that thing before I buy one of those. Thunderbolt shotguns are OP, 100, 100 millimeter cannon, 38.99. Yeah, dang, dude. That's crazy. Missile drone, this is what you want right here. Drone has a missile, this thing has a missile. That's that's pretty good. Chameleon, Mark II, missile turret. Missile missile turret? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. It's crazy. Alright. Getting some gold right there. Um, yeah, so you can see you can make some good money really quickly. Uh I think what ideally what <laughs> you think you'd want to go for is probably if you're into these, into, if you're into the heavier stuff, is scavengers, and making these pyro launchers. Now, you know you can switch factions once a day, and so you can just make a bunch of them. And if you can make four of them, uh, that's pretty good. But you see, you need heavy generators, and so um, you have to get quite a bit of. You got to get quite a bit of uh, copper. To kind of invest in 
a bunch of those pyro launchers and the wheels and stuff. So there's a lot that goes into this, but you know, it's not that difficult. I mean, you play, play a little bit. You can, you can easily make some money by selling stuff. It's not too difficult. And then once you start selling stuff, you can buy better weaponry and, uh, go from there. It's not too, it's not too bad. Uh, the durability system definitely needs a re rework though, but the market seems okay. Uh, anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this build. Let me know what you think of the market, the durability, stuff like that. Let me know if you have any cool ideas for builds. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that thumbs up button below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.